This is review lesson nine, measuring angles within a circle. So go ahead and write this down. The total number of degrees in a circle is 360 degrees. When we're measuring angles in a circle, we can look at this as a fraction, okay? So the numerator would be the number of degrees measured. So this part right here, when we measure it, would be the numerator. The denominator will always be 360 because that's the total number of degrees. Now we know this is one, two, three quarter turns. So the fraction of this circle, remember three quarter turns is 270 degrees. So that'd be 270 degrees out of 360 degrees. All right, so let's look at this one. We know here that we have a straight angle, right? So that angle is 180 degrees. If we were to write it as a fraction, it would be 180 of those degrees out of 360 degrees. All right, now let's look at this one. We know this is a right angle. So we have 90 degrees within this circle. If we were to write this as a fraction, it would be 90 out of 360 total degrees. All right, so if there are a total of 360 degrees in a circle, how many degrees would there be between the numbers on a clock? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 equal sections in our clock, right? So we can take 360, which is our total, and divide that by 12 to figure out how many degrees each one of these sections were, are worth. And the reason why we can divide is they're equal size spaces, right? So it's equal size group. How many 12s are in 36? Three. Multiply, subtract, whoop, sorry, that should be a 36. Multiply, subtract, bring down. How many 12s are there in zero? Zero. Okay, so there's 30 degrees between all of these sections, which makes sense because 30 times 12 is 360. So our answer is 30 degrees. All right, if 45 minutes goes by, so if we start here and we do 45 minutes, so 45 minutes would be my clock goes like this, right? If 45 minutes goes by, how many degrees did my minute hand change? Well, this is a three quarter turn, right? It was started here, right? We did a one, two, three quarter turn. We know a three quarter turn is 270 degrees. As a fraction, that's 270 out of 360 degrees. Okay? How many degrees would be between each minute on a clock? So if we think about it, if we took each minute, okay, and on our clock we took each minute and we turned it, right? How many minutes would there be? So here would be a minute, here would be a minute. Okay, there'd be 60 minutes, right? Well, my total amount of degrees is 360. If I divided 360 by 60, because that's how many minutes there are, just like we divided by how many hours there are around the clock, we would get, okay, what times 6 is, um, what times 60 is 366, right? Because 6 times 6 is 36 out of 0. So you would get 6 here. So there would be 6 degrees in between every single minute. Now, that written as a fraction would be 360 would be the denominator, the numerator would be 6. Okay? Um, there is no homework tonight for that lesson, so don't worry about it, but keep up your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.